Oh hi everyone! So I thought I would give you an update about what's happening in WoW Classic. As you may have noticed, it's now Phase 4. We've seen a release of Zul'Grub and Atari Basin, and Zul'Grub is a great way of catching up if you haven't been doing Blackwing Lair and Molen Core, so there's some really good items in there. I think that's going well, but more recently than that, we've actually seen a whole bunch more quests in Syphilis, or Syphus. I thought I would run through some of these, and I would also run through the um, Scenarian Circle um, very quickly, because this is some stuff that you guys really need to know. We are getting ready for phase five which is going to be quite a long time guys we don't know when the release date of Ankarub is going to be more commonly called aq probably because the name's really hard to say aq40 and aq20 one of the things you need for this run is lots and lots of nature resist gear right and it just so happens that the scenario in circle based in Cyphus, other sort of hubs throughout the world have a lot of nature resist gear. I might leave some links in the description if you guys want to read about it. In Cyphus, these are the main areas that you want to be farming, right? So what you basically want to do is, <clears throat> before you do the quests in the Scenarian Hold, right? You basically want to farm up until you're honored. Um, there's certain encrypted text items which you can turn in to gain a reputation reward too. And it's actually recommended that you turn them in after you become honoured with the Scenarian Circle, right? Twilight mobs also drop the encrypted Twilight text. Quests earn to you 100 reputation. You also probably want to farm the Twilight Cultist mantle, a cowl and chest piece. Scenarian Circle is full of quests, and these often have really good rewards. However, many players also recommend waiting till your honor to start questing because you can no longer kill these Twilight mobs for honor. And you only get one honor, so it's going to take you freaking ages. What they recommend you do is if you get into a group of five, right, and you're all killing them, you're going to get five times the reputation. If your group can go to one of these locations, then you can actually farm quite a lot of rep. There's a cave up here which is very good. So I'm gonna go over some of the Just like with AQ20, before anyone on the server can enter the raid, a massive server-wide event known as the Gates of Anchorage must be completed, or Anchorage. This will require thousands of supplies and consumables from both factions and will likely take several weeks, if not months, to complete. I'd be interested to see who completes this first. Um, because I bet there's going to be a real race. In fact, I bet people are already saving up already for this. So the Scepter of the Shifting Sands must also be completed, which requires completion of an extremely long quest line and will send players into Blackwing Lair multiple times, including the requirement of killing Nefarian. If you want to get into um, AQ20, AQ40, it's good just... Then, you, yeah, you're going to need to do Blackwing Lair a lot, so be prepared for that. Um, the 14... 40 raid members, preferably with an even distribution of 5 of each class. Having at least 100 nature resistance is highly recommended. So you need to start gathering that now, guys. 4 tanks with at least 200 nature resistance, 250 for more for Princess Hanuran. Again, that's a heck of a lot of resistance, guys. You will need 2 Warlock tanks with at least 150 shadow resistance and upwards of 8,000 health to kill the Twin Emperors. Raid members should primarily have rare and epic quality gear. Consumables like potions, flasks, and flu food should be used. Greater nature potion pots are highly recommended, and you're going to need a lot of them because honestly, getting up to 100 or even 200 nature resistance is quite hard. So I actually hear that in the Maradon run, where there's the horrible princess at the end, there's quite a lot of nature resist gear. So keep an eye out for that and remember to hold on to it. Looking forward to getting some good rep with the Scenarian Circle because it should hopefully mean I can actually make some really nice profitable items. Um, I did also notice there was um, an area in Fairwood near the south where they actually had some really good Scenarian hold rep. For enchanters, there's um, a very nice enchantment which you can get. Enchants your cloak for 15 nature resistance. So... 
some items you can already get. For example, I have the Ring of Binding, which is very useful, and it gives you plus 10 resistance, basically, in everything. And this actually drops from Anixia. So another really nice item which you can get from the Scenari and Hold is the Smoked Desert Dumplings. You actually get the sandworm meat from these um, dredged crushers in Syphilis. In Syphilis. These actually increase your strength by 20, which is really decent. And that would actually equate to 40 attack power. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any other tips, please leave them in the comments. And if you want me to make any other videos um, about anything like this, just let me know. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.